Right, shalom, shalom. This is a brother, Emma Wan, coming to you with another lesson, all for the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh I, Bashem Uh Double honors as always goes to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the true leaders and teachers of Israel, and peace, pleasures, and salutations to you brothers out there pushing this word truth and sincerity man so the title of this lesson is going to be I, be, I think I'm going to title it entitle it um, gradualism gradualism and the mark because you know Esau is very uh, cunning you know, this the secret council that we are that we always talking about they're very cunning and they know how to implement their their you know their agendas and their technologies man and uh gradualism man gradualism is the is the way you do things in small parts you know uh, but there's an end goal and i'm going to just quickly get the definition Why is he doing this now? Right. So it says gradualism, the definition, the policy. Policy is important. That's the because it's about it's about their policies, man. You know, scriptures talk about that in Daniel's man, but obviously that's that's talking about the, the times um in Babylon, but it can be used as many scriptures can be used, you know, twice or thrice, man. Even more so, right? But you know, through their policy, man, that's how they. That's through their policies is how they gain traction in, in uh, putting forth their agendas and their and their their laws and all the little things that they're trying to achieve to build up towards this uh, new world order, man. So it says the policy of of, of approaching a desired end by gradual stages all right so like okay, it that's really the point there you know it's gradual stages man so because if you know the point of the matter is if you was if they was to try and lump everything all in one go the people aren't going to stand for that man they're going to know that they've been tricked all right, they're gonna know they've been stung, but he's so tricky with it, just like he was with the C nineteen. You know, first it was, you know, so only certain people was susceptible to it, and then everyone is susceptible to it, and then, you know, you have to be the certain feet apart. You can't, you can't go here, you can't go there. But oh, if you want to go here and you want to go there, just, just, just get your, 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 your Maxine. You know, get you to get your serpent's juice, and you can go wherever you want. You know, and then after that, it's all get another one, and then get something to boost that up. You know, so it's all about gradualism with Esau, and it's the same with this mark, man. Here we have now we've heard of um, Amazon Go, right? So now we have Aldi, or Aldi, however you want to say it, shop and go, a checkout free shopping experience. The other way they're trying to sell it, man. That's part of the gradualism as well. They've got to sell it to you. you got to accept it. Just like you're going to have to accept the MOTB, right? You know, they can't... You know, there's going to be a point where it's going to have no choice. You know, well, you're going to, it's going to seem as though you have no choice. All right? But there is a choice, man. And our choice is to deny that and serve you how about Shami al right? We can't take that, man. No matter what happens, no matter what they do, we can't take that. So this is part of their graduation. So, welcome to a new shopping experience. Our very first shop and go store uses state-of-the-art technology, so you can shop faster and easier without queues. You'll find all your favorite groceries, toiletries, and alcohol inside at all the prices you you love, without a till in sight. Now. When you really think about it, what do these people who own these companies really care about? You know, how quick you get through the tills, man. You're going to spend your money there regardless, man. 
Alright, the point of the matter is this is part of their agenda because already we see a lot of places now that do not accept cash anymore. They simply do not accept it and it's debit card only. Alright. So this Xing out of the whole you know cash system trying to switch up the monetary system to this digital system is all part and parcel of it. Now as we know you know, the CBDCs are rolling out already, you know, as, and as we and as has been taught, you know, the C and it, which is obvious, the CBDC is not the MOTB, right? It's a form of digital payment because we already use digital payments, right? So we, you know, we're not, it's not like we're using the 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 mark already, right? But there's going to come a point where that whole um, embedded system, that RFID system, is going to be rolled out, man. And this is how they're going to do it by using these types of technologies in your everyday life. So let's just download our shop and go app and register at your account to enter. Once installed, just pick up an item or an item or bag it. Once you're finished shopping, just go. You will be charged and received, and receive your receipt via your app. So. You know, all you know. This is this phasing out of the cash system. It's happening right before your eyes, man. And lo and if you still deny it, you just can't see it, man. But you just can't see it. All right. So let's just get a few scriptures, man. You know, not much to. There's no, not much ever changes when we're talking about this thing when it when you're regarding the scriptures, man. Because it is what it is. Right? And these are the times, man. This is, we keep going over the same things. Why? Because these are the times that we're in. You know, the times of these last prophecies, man. You know, World War Three, MOTB. You know, the return of Yahweh Shai, Jacob's trouble. You know, the famine of the world. All these things are going to come to pass before you know it. So I'll start here, Psalm 64, it says, To the chief musician, a psalm of David, Hear my voice, O Yahweh, in my prayer, Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Right, because, you know, We know where the enemy is, And a lot of Christians out there understand what's going on there, But they don't know who the enemy is. Right. And they off, and they, and they fear. They t When they talk of these things, man, they talk in fear, right? They talk in the fear of the possibilities of what they're going to do. We don't fear it, though, man, all right? Because we believe on Yahweh Bashar and Yahweh. We know that this must happen, right? And we know that the elect is not going to be deceived, man. All right? So it says, um, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So what does that keep us safe, man? Keep us safe from there. Their wicked agendas, man. Keep our keep our circumspect, right? Keep us keep our eyes on the prize. You know, let their let let not their wickedness, you know, come upon us. Basically, let let us understand what they're doing and avoid it. But keep us safe. We keep us strong, that we don't fall into the traps of uh, the wicked, man. It says, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. And they sharpen their tongue like a sword, man, that means. They're fancy with their talk, man. You saw, you read, you know, what we just read. The way they were trying to speech up the, the, the point of not using um, any cash. Just walking and walking out. Listen, without cash, right, you're limited, your movements are limited. This is the whole reason they want it, so they can track. All your movements, man. When it comes, all your monetary movements, they can know. They'll know who's bought what, when they bought it, what, what who sold it. They're going. They're trying to tie every transaction that's on earth into their system, man. And once they can do that, they control what, what where you buy it, who you buy it from. What does that sound? Doesn't that sound familiar? Right. And they've said that, you know. Um, the IMF has said that. 
right? They've said that they want to, you know, they'll be able to track um, every transaction, man, in real time. Not a case of, um, let's get this car driver, man, the window's open, it's hot out here. Um, yeah, in real time, man, it's not a case of them having to collect data you know, a day or two after transactions have been made, you know, like, you know, like you would have to do any normal business now, like the next day you tally up your, your sales and whatnot. No, real-time transactions, man, they'll be, they'll be able to clock. It says they, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily, saying who shall see them, right? You know, they're doing these things under the radar, you know, basically. These, um, all these moves they're making, you know, we, ha we have to search out these, these things most of the time because it's not mainstream news. And most of the time we have to search it out, man. Because they're doing things uh, privily says they search out iniquities they accomplish a diligent search both the inward thought of them of every one of them and their heart is deep right and their heart is deep man their, their mind they go they go all out devising their schemes man you know but yeah I'm not going to, you know, rinse this out. Let's just get to the point now, man. So Revelation 16 says what? Revelation 13 and 16, so like it says what? And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So then that goes back to that lack of being able to use your cash in any which way you choose, right? It's going to now force you into, if you're not of the elect, obviously, into using this mark, man. For your transactions, to buy your, your amenities, man. And let's not forget as well. They want to do a universal basic income, so you tie that in with that as well. It's not even going to be your own your own funds that you're spending, man. It's going to be government-sanctioned funds. You know, whatever little um, pittance they decide to, that you get, you know, that you can have to live, to live on. You know, I don't think it's going to be a case of yeah, well, I'm still working, I'm I'm earning my sixty Gs. A year, and I, or you know, and I'm saying that because you know, not many sixty Gs is nice. Not many people earn a sixty. G, not many normal people, even let's say fifty Gs, forty Gs, man. You're not going to be able to just. You're not going to have that anymore, man. You're not going to have your forty Gs, your thirty G, whatever it is you earn. You know, that's not going to be yours anymore, man. It's uniformed. That's why it's called universal, man, because everyone will be on the same. Not because it's because it's um all over the, the the entire planet, but that's the case also. But it's because everyone will have the same um, amount of funds, man. Verse uh, Revelation fourteen and verse nine it says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right? And the hot and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Right? 
so that fire and brimstone and that's the burning you know that's the burning of those nuclear uh, missiles man you know especially uh, um, Babylon because Babylon's going to get hit the hardest aka America so that's condemnation you take that you take that chip it's over for you man once you take that you want because this is this is it's spiritual as well there's no taking it and oh I made a mistake in taking it out. You took it. You 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 committed the sin. So just because you remove it, right? You took it. And just to get into the point of um you know that's that that um that, that fire and brimstone man. Revelation 15 and 1 it says and I saw another sign in heaven great and marvellous seven angels having the seven last plagues for in them is filled up the wrath of the most high and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of the most high so that is you know that is in you know the firmament man looking down upon the destruction all right of the earth not the full destruction obviously the destruction of you know babylon and and and, and great britain and all the countries that are involved in this man the mo the, you know the when you have a shy comes back man it's going to mess mash this place up it's a cleansing man this is a, the first cleansing was by water this cleansing is by fire man all right. And I'll finish off here. Revelation 20 and 4 says, And I saw the thrones, and I saw thrones, like, and I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. All right, let's talk about the elect. And I saw the souls of them which were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Mashiach a thousand years, which is forever. All right, the, you know this is this is what we are battling, man. All right, this is what we're waiting for. These key prophecies, man. And that's the big one. Once he starts rolling that out, man. You know, it's gonna it's nearly game over time, man. So anyway, yeah, that's it on that. Lord willing. This was edifying, you know. Gradualism, man. If you're and the, and the masses don't get it, the masses can't see it. That's why they're following after all these agendas that East was pushing out. They would have to mention them. We know one of the ones right but it's gradualism people are accepting things they would never have accepted you know but they're accepting them now in 2023 going onwards man so with that you know i'll say shalom to the next one shalom